Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All of my video tutorials are located on my website at javacjava.com. The source code for each tutorial is there as well. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. If you are new to my tutorials, I highly recommend reading my Getting Started page at javacjava.com. The Getting Started page will teach you some basic DOS commands and you will learn how to set up the directory structure that I use in all my tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to install the Java Development Kit and configure some system environment variables properly too. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up a web browser and we'll go to my website javacjava.com and on my website I've done a, a nice thorough write-up of how to actually install the Java Development Kit and configure the runtime. We're going to go ahead and just scroll down here to this section here and we'll click on this. I'll take you to my website for installing the Java Development Kit, also known as the JDK. Uh, the JDK is a development environment for building applications, applets, and components using the Java programming language. Once the JDK is installed, you will learn how to set up your environmental variables and ensure the Java compiler and Java runtime are working properly. Just to give you a little history here, Oracle acquired Java with the purchase of Sun Microsystems back in 2010. Oracle provides the download and installation of the JDK free of charge. The download is located on their Java SE downloads page and the link below on my website will open a page with several options. Before you click you are going to need to know whether your Windows is operating system is basically x64 or x86. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We'll go ahead and minimize this. We're going to come down to, uh, to our My Computer icon, and we're going to right-click on the My Computer icon. It'll pull up this little shortcut menu. Obviously, this is Windows 8, but if you're using Windows 7 or Vista or Windows XP, you'll still have properties, but it's usually down on the bottom. So that'll open up our System Properties window. And in the center of the window here, we've got System Type. I see 64-bit Operating System X 64-based processor. And if you don't see anything 64, you're running x86. So armed with that knowledge, we'll go ahead and swap, switch back to um, web browser here. And we're going to click this link below here, which will take us out to the Java SE downloads page. They've got some other stuff to do to download here, but you always want to select uh, a link with the, the JDK in it, either this one or this one. So we'll go ahead and click on this one up here, and that'll take you to the Java SE kit. Uh, they're currently in version 8. Obviously, later on, you might even be watching this video. It might be version 9, might be version 10, who knows. Um, this is build 45. It'll probably, that number will probably be a little bit different. Basically, you just accept the license agreement. You come down here, and I'm running Windows X64. We just talked about that. There's the X86 download. And we'll go ahead and just click on this. Okay, that'll bring us up to save the file. Now, if you're learning Java, I'm sure you know how to save a file into your web browser, so I won't, I'll skip over those details. And I've already downloaded it because it's about uh, it's a less than 200 megabytes for the download. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on cancel on that. And I'm going to move my that out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and start the, uh, the installation here for that. The installation is really pretty quick here, too. Basically the first screen that comes up is the normal um, installation cookie cutter splash screen where it'll give you an overview and you just simply hit next on that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Tells us where it's going to install it to. Um, and then we'll just go with the, the default stuff and hit next here. And then it'll take just a, a little while to install. Not very long actually on my machine, maybe about 15, 20 seconds there. So, once this is installed, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a, a shortcut to um, the command prompt. And if you're not familiar with the command prompt, the command prompt looks like the old black window from back in the day. The MS DOS window runs the DOS commands. So, and that is the that is where we're going to use the Java command line tools from. So we're done with that. So we're going to hit close. And we'll just simply create a shortcut here on our desktop. New. Just I just right clicked over here and did new and shortcut. You'll just type simply type in CMD Charles Mary David and then hit next. 
and we'll just go with that same name for the shortcut. So there's our there's our command prompt. We'll go ahead and hit that. Pulls that open. Now the um, the way to tell whether everything was installed properly, and I can tell you it never happens. This this last little bit never really goes well. So we type in Java C, which is the command line for the Java. It's a command line instruction to execute the Java compiler. Right, and it's going to say Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. Well, what that means is that um, it can't find the Java EXE program, and that's because the job, location of the Java EXE program doesn't exist in the Windows path. So we have to set that variable on itself, and this is kind of a complicated process if you've never done that before. So we're going to type in cd space backslash, and cd is short for change directory, and the backslash will move us down to the root. Now we're going to type in dir java c.exe space forward slash s. So that dir is for a directory and then the file name we're looking for and forward slash s is the tells it to look in all the subdirectories. Okay, so we're going to hit enter there. Okay, we found the location of our of our, our, JD, of our java c.exe. Okay. Now, in order to add that to the path, what we're going to do is come back to start. We're going to right click on my computer again, go back to properties, pulls up our, our system window here. We're going to click on advanced system settings. That pulls up a system properties window here. And you'll see this environment variables button down at the bottom here. Click on that. We're going to scroll down in this drop down in this scroll list here till we find the entry for path. And then we're going to click on edit. And this contains a whole bunch of stuff in here. So we're going to scroll over to the very end. We're going to type in a semicolon. And then we're going to get rid of the system window here so we can see where our actual path is. So it's c colon backslash program files backslash java backslash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 45 dot backslash bin. So uh, this will probably be fairly similar to what yours is, although these numbers will be, you know, depending on the version of Java and the build. That'll be a little bit different. So we're going to come back over here. And we're going to type this in exactly how it reads over there. Okay, and then before we uh, click OK on that, we just want to verify everything is the same. Make sure we didn't make any typos. C colon backslash program space files backslash Java backslash JDK1. Dot eight dot zero underscore forty five dot bin looks good to me. We'll go ahead and click OK on that, OK on that, and OK on that. All right, we're going to go ahead and now type in Java C, and what's going to happen is we're going to get that same error message when we hit enter, right? And there's two schools of thought on this. One is reboot your computer. The other is just simply restart the command prompt. Sometimes you have to go to the uh, the extreme of rebooting your computer. Most of the times you can just close out of the prompt, open it back up again. Go ahead and hit Java C again. You'll see all this stuff uh, come across here, which looks looks fantastic. And uh, you can also type in Java if you like too, which will bring you up more options. So if you get to that point, you've uh, successfully installed the Java Development Kit, also known as the JDK. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.